I think they're posturing threats. I hope he doesn't follow through on them because obviously a trade war is not good for anyone and certainly isn't good for U.S. consumers or the U.S. economy. That having been said, you know, China exports five times more to the U.S. than U.S. exports to China. So there is an imbalance that needs to be addressed there. Um, I think his threats are a little bit loud at the moment. But they're certainly having an effect on the market. But I think more importantly, the market is reacting because it's already far too expensive. You know, the U.S. is selling at 32 times cyclically adjusted P ratio, which is an all time high. And surely it's time for a major correction anyway. So do you, in a way, if I'm hearing you right, you're saying this is an excuse for sellers who may have been looking to already sell to sell? Yes, exactly. And, uh, you know, there's been far too much complacency, far too much uh, buybacks of, uh, by corporations of their stock, which have supported the market, far too much concentration of ownership, and particularly in the tech stocks in the United States. And it's time for a very major correction, which is, I think, what we're embarking on. And we've seen in the last few days that you know, the Dow's gone down. There's been side, sideways moves. We're almost flat on the year. This is the beginning of a serious correction, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, if we stay like this throughout the day, and we just noted this, but I think it's important because, as we know, this is a president unlike any other, this in many ways. But this is also a president who has frequently referenced the U.S. stock market as a report card on his job, in a way. You know, especially last year when markets were soaring, he would point it out at any chance he got. If we, if we close today the way the futures are indicating, we will be lower on the year. Do you think that's a measure of, of maybe the president's thinking and, and maybe could force him to change the way he thinks? Well, if that report card goes negative, if you will. Yeah, I think that uh, he can't really do anything about the stock market. He can't be King Canute against the tide of selling that is coming. So I think that uh, you know, his report card reference will quickly be dropped as the market falls. But more importantly, I do think that uh, we are not going to be engaging in a trade war. I don't think there's going to be a universal trade war because globalization has been so good for everyone, including in the United States. I'm sure President Trump knows that uh, and has very good advisors who are telling him exactly that. But he's also a very good negotiator. He's shown that to be the case in the last year or so. And I'm pretty impressed by what he's done. So he may force the Chinese to do something about this ridiculous trade imbalance that they've, uh, they've mounted up over the years, basically. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.